Hey guys, this is Peter again and let's walk through the blog tutorial for CakePHP 2.1.3. So find the latest cookbook which is at the documentation. And if you open up you can find at the bottom tutorials and examples and the first is blog tutorial. Click on it and here is the list what we have to do to set up an empty cake project. First of all we need a running web server. I using WAMP. If you start WAMP server you have this welcome screen, you have your projects. I have an empty folder for this tutorial. The next is a database server, which also comes with WAMP. You can access from the welcome page to PHP My Admin, and you can do the magic here with your databases. Basic PHP knowledge, I assume you have that. The basic knowledge of the MVC programming pattern. If you want to read more about MVC pattern, feel free to stop this video and come back to continue. Next step is getting the cake itself, so you can download it from this link too. But to make sure that you have the latest version, just go to the main page of Cake PHP and select this. Uh, shortcut the latest stable version at this moment it's 2.1.3 so click on it and it start downloading yes just a few seconds and it's done now go to the download folder which is in my case is right here and you have the latest version of Cake PHP in a zip folder. So open it up. And you have every file that you need to run your application. So select all of them, hit Ctrl C, and go to your uh, WAMP servers folder, which is in my case WAMP www cake blog, and hit Ctrl V. It takes a few seconds to paste all of the files, and when you're ready, you can go back to your local host and your project name, which is in my case cake blog. Hit enter again and you have this list on your screen to see which part of cake PHP is already working and which not. So go back to the tutorial and see what is the next step. The next step is creating the database. To do that just copy all this content right here and go to your local host and find your database server and create a new database. I will name it blog and I'm selecting UTF-8 general to make sure that every character is coming through the database correctly. And we will use this UTF-8 at the pages too. So click on create it's done. Select the database. Now you can see it's totally empty. No tables, no records. Click on SQL and paste all the content from the tutorial page. So you can see there will be only one table which has name posts. And it has five, five, yes, five columns. ID, title, body, created and modified. 
this is the main features for the posts as you can imagine and here are some example rows you will see it when you click on go and it has done nothing because yeah it has just the refresh wasn't that good as I expected so here's the post table yes it's on the left side now a bit laggy so we have three entries <coughs> very meaningful titles and bodies but it is working that's the most important part yes one table one database it's fine go back to the tutorial see which is the next step is the database configuration so you have to tell the cake php where is your database and which is the access words in this case login password and the database name itself so you have to find this configuration file which is at this location switching over my application folder app config and database php default which is not good enough for us so create database php yes i'm not afraid to change the extension and we have to edit this database configuration file just scrolling down to the bottom and see what we have host local host this is fine for now because i have a local host database server login is the username in my case it's root because i didn't change the default settings of php my admin password it's empty also default settings and it's not suggested to use an empty string as a password but at your local host it's not such a big problem the database name is cake blog so make sure you have the right name blog and that's it we don't have to worry about the test uh, feature because we won't use it so save this file go back to your application which is right here at localhost cake blog hit f5 if you go down you can see a database configuration file is present so it's working nicely see the next step at the tutorial page next step is the optional configuration these two word is responsible for the hashes and the encrypting so as the welcome screen says change the value of these two word because it's the default settings so we have to find our core.php file to change these two words it's at the config folder and it's right over the database php just grab to this editor and scroll down till you find those two words it's right here security salt the easiest to do is select only three of them and hit for example a b c it's a very meaningful too select three numbers hit four five and six save this file go back to the application and see the magic it's done everything is working fine so the application is ready to move on and grab your blog posts the final thought is about the rewrite module so if you want to have this nice URLs like 
this, you have to enable the modrewrite module at the PHP server, I'm sorry, at the Apache server. To do that, just left click on your WAMP server icon and select Apache httpd.conf. You have this nice file which has a lot of possibilities to load modules and unload modules. Hit Ctrl F and mod rewrite. It's right here. As you can see, this module is loading when Apache starts. If you want to turn it off, just comment this line out. If you want to turn it on, take back the comment symbol and it's loading the Apache. No, I don't want to save. It's fine. So, the empty application is ready. We can move on to create the controller, the model and the views. See you in the next episode. Bye!